I saw a tweet of someone showing off how they caught all three shiny Tatsugiri forms in 18 minutes. So let's test this challenge out. Let's see if we can catch three shiny Tatsugiri in under 30 minutes. This sandwich will give us level three sparkling power, title power, and humongo power for dragon types. This is a disgusting sandwich. It kind of looks like a brat sandwich. That, that joke probably didn't land. <laughs> Starting now, we have a 30 minute timer to find all of these shiny Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what he, this guy looks like when he's shiny. Is this one of the white ones or the, the slightly orange one? I should have really searched this up. Is that? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. I thought I thought that was shiny. I was like, oh my god, it's been like a minute. There we go. There are not many Tatsugiri left from the original outbreak. We're at max odds. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, that took that took um. Approximately 10 minutes longer than I thought it would. Oh, in the, f in the first Pokeball as well. What an, an obedient little fish. We'll have a shiny counter in the top left corner. This will show you how many shiny Pokemon I catch in this video. Did we get a mark on it? No mark, that's unfortunate. And talking about marks, at the end of this video, I tried to find a shiny Tatsugiri with one of the rarest marks in all of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Trust me, you really don't want to miss it. We have 17 and a half minutes left to get two Tatsugiri. This is not good for us. But luckily, this shine is a lot easier to, to, to tell apart from the other Tatsugiri. Oh, there we go. Dude, I thought I thought that was a little um, tandem mouse. There we go. That was really quick. That was really, really, really good. And it gets in the first Pokeball. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kind of really good at this whole thing. Now the third and final one. I'm hoping is going to be just as easy, if not easier. This Tatsugiri is yellow, but its shiny is orange. Hopefully, that's going to make it really easy to spot. Oh, 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 yes, that was so quick, that was so quick. But the real question is, okay, first of all, can we catch it in a Pokeball? Second of all, how long did it take? Ah, that's a shame, that's a shame. I was starting to get worried that Tatsugiri might have the move Memento, which would instantly kill it. Wait, does Tatsugiri have Memento? Oh crap, 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 oh crap. I have five Master Balls, I, I, can, I can use another one. It's okay, I can always get more later. I, I just really didn't want it to kill itself, because I think that would be really, really um, unfortunate. Eight minutes left on the clock. That took 22 minutes. We, 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 got, we got it done in the 30 minutes, but we missed the 18 by quite a bit. Did I get any, like, cool marks on them or anything? No, no. Ooh! Sleepy time! Tatsugiri the Sleepy. Since this challenge was so easy, I decided I had to test myself by finding a shiny Tatsugiri with one of the rarest marks in the entire game, the Misty Mark. One of them's marked. I, if this one has the Misty Mark, that'd be really huge. For those who don't know, the Misty Mark is only available in a few hard to get areas of Kitakami. Oh, damn it, it's the uncommon mark. That is not the mark we're looking for. We can we can catch this one too, just because. It doesn't really have a mark, but I like shiny Pokemon, so that's okay. The shiny Pokemon themselves weren't really difficult to find. It's just the fact that the Misty Mark with the Mark Charm will only show up on one in 16.67 Pokemon. The fastest way to get this mark is by flying up to an area with mist, waiting for some Pokemon to spawn, and then flying back down and checking all of the shiny Pokemon. Do you remember the shiny counter in the top left corner? I would encourage you to try to guess how many shiny Pokemon we're gonna encounter in this video. Trust me, it is a bit more than you'd think. Oh, and if you're wondering how I can tell these Pokemon are marked or not before I catch them, there's an upgrade you can get in-game which will show you an icon next to a Pokemon's name if they have a mark. Oh, it's marked, it's marked, it's marked. This is the one, trust me. If this doesn't have the Misty mark, I will eat my pants. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Oh, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. That's the cloudy mark. That's not the misty mark. So now that we know how to find these Pokemon, all that's left to do is to hunt for them. This one doesn't have a mark, but that's okay. Another one not marked? That's that's okay. That's fine. That's okay. No, that's actually exactly what I wanted. Thanks, game. Thank you, game. Thanks, game. I really needed this. After running out of sandwich power on our first run, I decided I was going to close the game and restart so I could save the Herba Mystica I used in the first sandwich. It doesn't have any mark. That's really cool. Oh, another one. Back to back to back. It's not marked. Another one, another one, another one, another one. It's not marked! I should just kill you. I should just kill you, but I'm not going to because I'm kind. I'm just kind like that. I'm sure you get it by now. Close out the game, restart, grab a new sandwich. Oh, this one has a mark, but I think it I think it spawned in too late. I don't think it's gonna have a misty mark. Oh, another one. I, I think that spawned in too late as well, but it, it's worth a check, I suppose. 
Sleepy time mark. And the sleepy time mark, too. Okay. Well, that's just... Okay. <laughs> okay, there's another one. And it's not marked. I was so tired of this hunt that I, I just ended up flying away, but I'm, I'm still counting it as a shiny. I think I think I ended up doing that a lot, actually. This shiny hunt kind of took a lot out of me. Now, this one, this one really annoyed me. That's not even the right Pokemon. That annoyed me so much, I actually ended up rage quitting. Okay. Didn't even get to leave. We got another one straight away. Nice. That's gotta be it. Oh, I'm just gonna kill this one. The only reason this hunt was going poorly was clearly just because the first area I, I was in was just bad luck. So I completely relocated, went and found a new mass outbreak. Dude, I, I, I was, I'm not even using a sandwich. How am I finding so many? Oh, are you kidding me? Like the one time I don't need them. This is, this is really cool. I took some time to clear out most of the outbreak so we'd get back to full shiny odds. Oh, come on, stop giving these ones to me. Well, I mean, I, I, guess, I guess it's not a bad thing, but I just want the misty mark, please. Grabbed another sandwich and went back to shiny hunting. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I have to choose between the shiny hoot hoot and the tatsukiri. It's actually a really easy choice. It's not marked. I'm go I'll, I'll go for the hoot hoot then. The shiny Tatsugiri was still there after I left this battle, but I was way too annoyed to try to catch it. No marks, what a surprise. Oh, another shiny, and it's got no mark. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, I'm optimistic. It's got a mark, I'm optimistic. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've been hunting for that all day, that's so crazy, oh my god. <laughs> Tatsugiri the Mist Drifter. I suppose if you have any, you know, good ideas for the, this Pokemon's nickname, I suppose you can drop them in the comments if you want. And with the hunt done, the final shiny count was 29. I would have been way off if I, if I tried to guess that. If you want to watch another video about one of the rarest shiny Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet returning, you can click on the video on screen, it will take you there. You can watch all the way through and it will be great. Thank you for watching.